Okay, so we're gonna try and build Oops All Modern Spells. <laughs> and the idea being, um, just like the Legacy version, we're gonna mill out our whole deck using Undercity Informer or Balustrade Spy. Um, when we do so, we're going to mill three or four Creeping Chills, which will take our opponent to 11 or um, 8. And then we will finish them off with Arclight Phoenixes. <laughs> so we've got an all-in combo deck. I know I said before I don't play all-in combo decks, but uh, I built this one today starting with a public Charbelcher list. And um, I really, really wanted to try it. A couple of changes. Uh, Charbelcher is one probably more um, consistent. But uh, in this version of the deck, we are running Lotus Bloom for some extra mana, along with Chromatic Star as a free cantrip and filtering, because we are three colors. Uh, having the artifacts in the deck also helps turn on Delirium for Traverse the Elvenwald, which can help us find our Unner City Informer or Balustrade Spy, uh, if necessary. Um, other than that, the sideboard plan basically remains the same. We have gut shots to interact with our opponent, or if we're having trouble turning on our Phoenixes, uh, we side basically into Storm, with Empty the Warrens and Reckless Bushwhacker to try and kill our opponent very, very fast. Uh, we have some extra lands for that plan as well. Um, we also have Defense Grid. <laughs> Welcome, George Monty. We also have Defense Grid for uh, the control matchups or any deck that wants to try and counterspell us. And uh, Memories Journey in case we need to set up a two-turn lethal. Uh, other than that, we're just going to be taking this into some two-mans and trying to kill people with it. Should be fun. Hmm. This hand is almost keepable. We do need a green source though, so we're mulligating. Oh, this is so close, but we have no mana source at all. Going to five. All right, this works. We keep um, Simeon Spirit Guide going to the top. Oh shoot. We're not going to be able to draw Simeon Spirit Guide because we have to fetch from our deck. Uh, this is fun. Alright, we get a forest. Play the forest. Let's go get a mountain. Okay. Almost have the combo assembled. And it's only turn one. Opponent starts Hollowed Fountain. We play a mountain and loot faithlessly. Ooh. So we drop Chancellor, and I think we have to drop a ritual. Uh, we are one mana away, one mana and one land away from having the combo. So we just need to draw another lay of the land effect. There's the mana. Uh, we could just go for it, but I really don't want to do that. <laughs> Goodness. Okay, opponent fetches. They're probably going to, like, tap out for a Jace or something. At some point. Opponent Helix is our face. Okay. plays a Scalding Tarn. Well, we draw a Creeping Chill. That's not good. Opponent fetches with Scalding Tarn and finds Island. You're <laughs> to included lands and oops all spells. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't really get out of that. Opponent seems pretty content to be just casting burn spells here. If you look at the stream decker or hit exclamation point deck, you'll see it's oops, almost no lands. <laughs> well, there's a pyretic ritual. What's up, Cafe Chipmunk? Good to see you. P 
opponent still doesn't want to tap out. Hmm. All right. Let's blow a ritual and see if we can get a uh, counter spell out of their hand. Works. All right, Faithless Looting. Ooh, Chancellor is not good. Drop Phoenix and Chancellor. <laughs> A lot of decks. I have a lot of decks. Some big, some small, some in between. Lots of decks. Okay, opponent burns us. It burns us. We just need them to tap out. They need to think that it's safe. We're getting to the point where we're going to have to go for it. Opponent cryptics the ritual. <laughs> Says our deck looks dope in chat. Awesome. If we can draw Traverse the Elvenwald or um, what's it called? Uh, Caravan Vigil, we can guarantee the kill. All right, looks like this is our opening. Maybe not. Well, they got to run out of counter spells at some point. Hopefully not, you know, hopefully they do before we die. Why do you logic not for three? Okay, can't pay for it. Oh, come on! Opponent gets in for two. Opponent fate seals us rather than brainstorming. Probably means they have a million counter spells in hand. It is. It's blue, white, red control or Jeskai control. They run a bunch of counter spells. They basically run counter burn. The only way to be bored while burning to death? Yeah. All right, opponent, you got us. Well, ideally, we are faster than our opponent. Um, but let's bring in defense grid. <laughs> our opponent says, I don't know what that card does for you, but I don't want to know. <laughs> Um, so we'll bring in the defense grids, and we will drop a Street Wraith, a Chromatic Star. Submit. And a Balustrade Spy. We dropped a Balustrade Spy as well. 
All right, we would love to play first. Okay, this is uh, this is a pretty good opening hand. We'll keep. Opponent mulligans to six. We use Wild Cantor to filter our red into a green. Traverse, find a forest, play a forest, play Wild Cantor, pass the turn. Still have a long way to go to combo, unfortunately. Opponent, Serum Visions. Unfortunately, because this is blue, white, red, and not blue, white, uh, their kill spell of choice is Bolt or Helix and not Path. Uh, if it was Path, it would actually help us. Mm, there's a Desperate Ritual. Well, we're going to get in for one damage. There's uh, not a lot we could do at the moment. We don't want to blow our Mana Morphoses uh, just trying to get the combo pieces, because we're probably going to need one to combo. Opponent fetches with Flooded Strand, finds a Steam Vents. Plays a Rest in Peace. Well, <laughs> we did not side into the Storm plan, probably like we should have. So we're just going to fold to that. And we'll scoop it up. I'm going to keep this hand. It's so close to what we need. Our opponent mulligans to six. We cycle a street wraith. There's a traverse. Okay. Well, we need to find some kind of free mana. Feel like your base for this deck would include four Aether Vial? I'm not sure if Aether Vial would actually do it. Oh my god. It's so good. Oh, baby. <laughs> All right, get in for six. Not a bad turn two, considering we kept a hand with no mana sources. <laughs> oh. Feels good, man. Um, and I might, I might put it in as like a one or a two of. It's too bad there's no cheap treasure generators that are, like, super good. Like, Wily Goblin might be worthy inclusion. Uh, might even put in Pirate's Pillage. Just because the, like, we might be ritualing up to four mana to pitch a Phoenix, get two treasures, and, like, keep going somehow. Um. Hmm. We have four mana in hand. But... We can't filter it into black. So let's play Chromatic Star. And hopefully we're not dead next turn. Because if we're not dead, our opponent probably is. Ugh. <sighs> I hate this combo. Hopefully they don't just have the kill. Um, okay, versus this deck, I think we're going to bring in Gut Shots. Um, we'll drop a Balustrade Spy. And a couple Street Wraiths. Try it like that. Maybe we can slow them down or... I think our I think our sideboard plan is fine unless we get like Wheel of Sun and Moon or Rest in Peace. Yeah. Let's go ahead and bring in the uh, the old Storm game plan. Okay. 
I think we're going to try this. We might just die before it's a thing. Okay, opponent's on a slower start. We don't draw anything useful. That's good. Play Traverse. Get a red land. Pass the turn, hope we don't die. Because we're not holding a gut shot. Opponent's tapping for five. Is this cord for the other half? Does this deck ever just not have it? <laughs> Every single time I've played against this deck, it's been a turn three kill or turn three combo, whether or not I've been able to interact with it. I think this card might actually be a worthy inclusion. You say ax it? Make different deck. I'm going to run it one more time. But I just I want the combo. Well, we can't get a better hand. There is literally not a better hand for this deck. We're keeping. If there is a hand that can beat our opponent who mulligan to five, it is this one. So we traverse for a swamp. Pass the turn. We do need one more spell to cast, because we need to cast three spells in a turn. Opponent starts Polluted Delta. Don't you dare thought seize me. This better be a cantrip. Oh, okay. They don't, uh, they don't cast. They get exiled from the grave. Opponent plays a Lightning Mauler. Oh, well, we just win. So ritual, ritual, Undercity Informer, target ourselves, sack Undercity Informer, put our whole deck in the grave. <laughs> no, we're not passing turn. <laughs> Why would we pass turn? Always yes, always yield. Yes, use Creeping Chills ability. Yes, use Creeping Chills ability. Go to our pre-combat main, reanimate four Arclight Phoenixes, and get in for lethal. It happened on turn two! <laughs> uh, and for a second there, I thought I was going to go punished Kano. A man denied his combo. All right, so we're playing against some kind of uh, lightning mauler jank. So I'm bringing in some gut shots. Um, let's drop. Let's bring in some empty the Warrens too. Feel like we might need them. Go down slightly on the main plan. We'll bring in only two gut shots. Hmm. Here's a hand. This is a hand. Pota gets to start. They fetch Windswept Heath. They find a stomping ground. And they play a Relic of Progenitus. Well, joke's on them. We will be playing um, Storm this game.
What on earth is our opponent playing? <laughs> okay, let's do some math. Uh, each one of these is a free spell. But it doesn't look like we can get up to... Hmm. Enough mana to cast Empty the Warrens this turn? So let's Caravan Vigil, get a mountain. Play a mountain, play Wild Canter. Pass the turn. So if Wild Cantor survives, we empty the Warrens next turn. But of course, that implies it survives. Okay, opponent doesn't have a bolt for it on our turn. Opponent is playing rug something. The Lightning Mauler. Steam Vents, game one, and then they died. Opponent plays a Scavenging Ooze. All right, well, thankfully, that doesn't interact with what we're doing this game. Opponent gets in for one. Yeah, we're not going to block. Yeah, I have no idea. Oh, Manamorphose is perfect. Okay. Well, let's sack Wild Cantor to add green. Caravan Vigil for an untapped swamp. Exile Spirit Guide. Cast Manamorphose. Red, black, ritual, cycle for red, gut shot, Empty the Warrens. Hopefully that's enough to win the game. <sighs> that could have not been that could not have possibly been the right way to pay that mana cost. You're probably correct. All I needed to win was play against an even jankier deck. You're probably right. But I'm not complaining. If this deck wins a single round of magic, I'm keeping it. We won a game. We gotta win the round. If our opponent has anger, I'm gonna be so sad. Don't anger me, bro. Time for an is it Staticaster? Oh, that would be very saddening. All right, let's Ritual. Do they have a counter spell? Are they gonna counter a Ritual now? Okay, they remand the Ritual. We're okay with that. Attack for 10. They take eight, go to seven. Yeah, Static Caster would make me incredibly sad. What is 
is this? What's happening? Don't know why they're playing Lightning Mauler. Unless this is like Blitz. This could be like Rug Blitz and playing the standard cards. Because you used to play Burning Tree Emissaries into Lightning Mauler. Like I could see that. Get in for damage. Get on a blocks and blocks. We're going to win with Creeping Chill. <laughs> it's just like if they had a bolt, this prevents uh, like Phoenix from just dying to bolt. So we ritual. Cast creeping chill. Lightning helix mode. It's just, he says it's just some jank. It's, I'm dried out. Me too. <laughs> yes, we won a round. Mm, we have no way to filter into green. Instead of brewing a graveyard deck, brew a bounce house deck. What's bounce house? I'm gonna keep this. This is this is pretty close. There it is. Cloudstone Curio? Oh god, is it our opponent? Are they doing it too? Is this the mirror? Oh, they're just rabble mastering. You know, a reasonable card. The bad news is I don't think we can race that. <laughs> Spirit guide. Spirit guide. Ritual. Ritual. Pirate's pillage. Discard Arclight Phoenix. Suspend Lotus Bloom. Reanimate Arclight Phoenix. Get in for three. <laughs> Next turn we're holding we're holding Phoenix back. Because we have to to kill this Rabble Master. You know, versus any other deck, this hand this starting hand would have been amazing. We draw another Simeon Spirit Guide. All right, we gotta pass the turn. We're gonna we're gonna have this Phoenix on defense. That is, if it doesn't get bolted, it got bolted. Except for decks with counter spells and thought seizes, Shh, those don't exist. We're living in a world where those don't exist, Raylan. It's called Two Man Modern Leagues. Uh, gosh. It looks like we're just gonna die to creature damage. Uh, there's a wild canter. Alright, opponent, you got us. Uh, okay. So, versus the. Bring in some gut shots, some empty the warrens. Uh, this thing. Let's drop the street wraiths. Uh, let's go down on the the undercity informant plan. Bring in a land. Bring in a dragon's claw. Drop undercity informant.
Let's try it like this. Let's just go like all in storm here. Yes, I would like to play first. Ooh, this is a hand. Let's keep. Our opponent mulligan to six. That's good news for us. Reveal Chancellor of the Tangle. Get a green mana. Our opponent says, lol, they haven't seen that card in three years. Let's get a forest. Play a forest. Wild Canter. Ooh. May Gusta. All right, well, let's get in for one. Play another Wild Canter. Pass the turn. Suspend a Lotus Bloom. Get in for two. Play Chromatic Star. Opponent gets to their third mountain. Stone Rain! Our only land? That's mean. Opponent, you shouldn't do that. You make, you make the jank players cry. We draw another chromatic star. Well, we're, gonna, we're on the beat down with two one ones plan. Bark. Oh yeah, no, if they're playing land destruction, joke's on them, we don't have any lands. We just invalidated like seven cards out of their hand. Opponent plays a Sin Prodder. Lotus Bloom ticking down. Oh, we're almost there. One more turn of no interaction and our opponent loses. Uh, no, you can have Molten Rain. We don't have any lands to target. Sin Prodder number two. Oh, God. We'll sack it for a green. Are you okay over there? <laughs> no. Filter with this Chromatic Star for a red. Ritual. Perfect. Okay, opponent gets in for three. We take it. <laughs> Lotus Bloom coming off suspend. Okay, crack it for three red. Ritual up to four. Filter into red, green. Play a land. Play chromatic star. Filter the green into a green. Ritual. Sack canter for a red. Empty the warrants for a bunch. Bushwhacker for lethal. Gotcha! <laughs> <laughs> oh.
Oh, my opponent says that's the funniest thing I've ever seen. I think we I think we stick with the storm plan. We don't need the dragon's claw. We're just gonna go street wraith. We just need a decent opener. We're gonna get a mountain this time. Cycle Street Wraith. Draw some in Spirit Guide. Pass the turn. Opponent plays a Sin Prodder. We draw another Ritual. Put the mountain in the grave. Cycle for green. Manamorphose is good. We just have to hope our opponent doesn't have an anger. Because we have to go off this turn. Alright, let's do it. Spirit Guide. Canter. All red mana all the time. Ritual. Ritual. Filter into green, green. Do we have delirium? Oh my god, we have delirium. Traverse. Thanks, opponent, for putting that land in our grave. Reckless Bushwhacker, Spirit Guide, Gut Shot, Empty the Warrens, Bushwhacker. Bolts their own face. You know there might be something to this whole storm thing. Oh my god. We've won two rounds with this. We've won two rounds. Oh my god, how is this working? Oh my gosh. 
Traverse the Elvenwald. Definitely where this deck wants to go. Holy crap. Uh, we'll keep this hand. Opponent Mulligan to six. Reveal Chancellor. Opponent cycles a Street Wraith. Could this be the mirror? Bobble. Maybe that's a card that should be in this deck. Turns on Delirium and it's a free draw. I'm not sure. That might be worth it. We definitely should have the... Oh my god. It's Tron. It's like some kind of weird all-in Tron. Cycle Street Wraith. Another useless Chancellor. Opponent draws a card. We draw a Wild Cantor. Well, that's good. So we play a Mountain. We cast a Wild Cantor with our floating mana. And we play a Chromatic Star. Pass the turn. Let's see what our opponent does. If we beat this Tron deck, Raylan, you need to eat your words. Opponent going to be on the turn three Tron plan. We will suspend Lotus Bloom. Faithless looting. There's the combo. Get in for one damage. Yes, I was clearly referring to the common Street Wraith Mishra's Bobbletron variant. <laughs> uh, all you said was Tron. It could have been Blue Tron. It could have been Red Tron. It could have been Black Tron. <laughs> oh, no. Well, just so long as they don't, like, carn away a land here, I think we're okay. Could have been Popper Tron. That deck's actually great. Oh, Worm Coil Engine, thank God. And here I thought we were going to lose. So sack for a red. Ritual. Oh shoot, we haven't gotten all the lands out of our deck. Ritual. I was getting over eager. Green and black. Green for green. Oh, how do I pronounce that? Let's see. Thank you, Vetical, for following the stream. We are now at 99 followers. <laughs> uh, one more, and we will be opening up 65 treasure chests on stream. Thank you, and good games. Oh, you're a previous opponent. Good to see you. Yeah. That was great. I like the Sin Prodder list. I haven't seen anything like that. So we're going to get another land out of our deck. Hmm. We'll play Undercity Informer, and we'll play Wild Canter. If our opponent does not have a way to interact with us, we kill them on our upkeep. If they do have a way to interact with us, like if they have a, a Karn or an Ugin or some way to uh, attack both of our creatures, we sack Cantor for mana and we Undercity Inform it and just try and get as much value as possible.
Welcome new viewers to the stream. I'm playing Oops All Modern Spells. <laughs> Sober. Oh no, we do want to do it on draw. You're right. Or after draw. Post draw. Opponent really is all in on this Tron thing. They expedition map for Horizon Canopy. What is our opponent playing? It's awesome! You're trying to attack with phoenixes? Oh, that's right. Shoot. We needed to do it last turn if we were going to attack with phoenixes. I guess they're also on Traverse the Elvenwald. Yeah, that actually would not surprise me. Block with Cantor and Sack. That was probably a reasonable thing to do. We'll do that this turn. So we'll get in for two with Undercity Informant. Opponent plays a Mishra's Bobble. Their third one of the game. They target themselves. Opponent plays a Ghost Quarter. They Ghost Quarter their own Tron land. For a forest. What is happening? And they Sylvan scrying for a sanctum. It's the long gun. So we block with Cantor. Cycle the star. Target ourself. Sack Cantor. Oh my gosh, we might get there. We milled all four creeping chills. Yes, I want to use creeping chills ability. Our Lotus Bloom's coming off Suspend, too. We might actually have him. Cast Lotus Bloom. Ritual. Ritual. Faithless Looting. Drop the last Phoenix. Go to combat. Reanimate four phoenixes! It's happening again! Oh my gosh, our opponent can only have spatial contortion. Opponent says neat deck. Oh my gosh, this deck is real. It's gotta be real. Like, we're, I don't know, I don't know how real it is, but it is real to some extent. And we kill our opponent. Okay. Okay, we're going on the storm plan. Bring in the ancient grudge just in case. Um, I think we want one more land when we're on this plan. So we're going to bring in a mountain. We don't need the gut shots. I think I'd rather have the street wraiths. Try it like this. <sighs> this is a hand we're keeping.
Reveal Chancellor. Opponent cycles or Street Wraith. Urza's Tower, Chromatic Star. Okay, we untap. They draw a card from Bobble. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's just, this is just happening right now. Do we want to save Traverse for Tracker? Because now we have two mana to start the rituals. I think we do. I think we play Chromatic Star. Pass the turn. We need another ritual. Okay, opponent cracks for green. Opponent plays an expedition map. Don't know. Maybe they didn't realize they had mana floating, or they've got another. Okay. We draw a spirit guide. So let's see. We could ritual up to empty the Warrens now. So we Spirit Guide, Desperate Ritual to three, Spirit Guide to four. Um, no, we can't do it just yet. I think we need to crack for green, draw, see what we draw, and then uh, get to land. That might do it. So get a forest, play a forest. So we have one, two, three, four, five mana. If we draw a single other ritual or we wait till next turn, we can do ev we can cast everything in our hand. So I think that's what we do. Unfortunately, we don't have Traverse for getting, um, we don't have a Traverse online to go get a Reckless Bushwhacker. Oh my gosh, we can splice Rituals next turn. We're, we're definitely going in on this. Okay, opponent Ancient Stirrings. They find a Power Plant. Opponent plays a Power Plant. We draw Street Wraith, cycle Street Wraith, Caravan Vigil. Uh, that's a freebie here. So we Caravan Vigil. Get another mountain. Play the mountain. Spirit Guide, Spirit Guide, Cast and Splice. Pirate's Pillage, Pitch Chancellor, get some treasure. So we have four, five mana. So let's Faithless Looting. Discard Creeping Chill and Swamp. Crack for Red, Ritual. Ritual, empty the warrants.
Pass turn. Pirate's Pillage is pretty good there. I'm kind of liking that. Glad I added that. Welcome new viewers to the stream. I'm Kano, streaming Jank and Modern. Right now we're playing Oops All Spells in Modern, or the rough equivalent of. Uh, we've actually been winning some rounds, and we're trying to hit 100 followers. We need one more person to follow, and we're going to open up 65 treasure chests on stream. Let's see what our opponent does. Opponent says they forgot to crack their map. They were stunned by our empty the Warren thing. They play their Urza's mine. There's a bauble. Opponent cracks bauble. Plays an expedition map. Cracks Expedition Map. They draw a card. Opponent says I'm so dead. Alright, well let's get in for 13 or 14. Play Chromatic Star. Pass the turn. Opponent plays Horizon Canopy. Opponent has an Ugin, the Spirit Dragon. That's super unfortunate. They're at four. Exile all colored permanents. We just need to like top deck running phoenixes. Or phoenix creeping chill. We draw a spirit guide. Well, let's faithless looting. We draw traverse and pyretic ritual. Let's drop the ritual and the spirit guide. Traverse can find us our bushwhacker. Opponent plays an Ulamog, the Ceaseless Hunger. Hits two of our lands. That probably kills us. Opponent hits us in the face for three with Ugin. And we draw a Chancellor of the Tangle. Well, filter for green. Yep. Darn. Alright, opponent, you got us. You got us. Going on, game three. We're going to put an informer. We're going to put a couple informers back in so we can maybe go for like the creeping chill bunch of damage. All right, game three. <clears throat> Reveal Chancellor. Add green. Cast Caravan Vigil. Get a forest. Play the forest. Play Wild Canter. Pass the turn.
Opponent starts Urza's Mine and Chromatic Sphere. We untap and draw a Pirate's Pillage. Well, we'll play Chromatic Star. Get in for one. Opponent plays an Urza's Tower. Looks like they're going to have the Fast Tron here. Ooh, maybe not. I was expecting a Sylvan Scrying. Crack for green again. Of course, that could indicate... Oh, never mind. Okay, we got a Traverse. So we crack the star for a green, draw a card. Traverse for a red. We're gonna wait till next turn, I think, before we start doing anything. Should have traversed first. That's a possibility. This deck is very hard to play. And I'm like stressed out and shaking and I haven't eaten and all other sorts of things because I'm so excited right now. <laughs> Power plant. Chromatic star. We draw another creeping chill, unfortunately. We sack this for, hmm. I don't think we can bring the Phoenix back this turn. We can only guarantee two spells cast. Our opponent is definitely doing something nasty next turn. I think we still gotta try. Mountain to the battlefield. Pirates Pillage, discard Phoenix. <sighs> Not quite. All right, pass the turn. Good to see you, Cafe Chipmunk. Thanks for stopping by. Glad you could witness the jank. Welcome, new viewers, to the stream. <laughs> We're playing jank in modern, and our opponent is carning us. Oh, no. We could still win relatively quickly, but we'd have to draw one of our... Um, Mill guys. Put a cracks for a green. Well, play Chromatic Star. We maybe should have cast Bushwhacker just to take Karn off of hitting another land. Although I'm not entirely certain that's that's a good idea. That's an Olamog.
Give him a chancellor. Uh, well, we almost had this round. And there's an Arclight Phoenix, and we scoop it up. <laughs>